Hi everyone, welcome to the number one channel for functional aging and longevity. The longevity industry is obsessed with cellular aging, gene therapies, and futuristic interventions. They talk about replacing damaged cells, regenerating tissues, and even creating new motor units. But here's the one thing they will never be able to replace. Muscle wisdom. And this alone is enough to completely destroy the idea of longevity escape velocity forever. What in the world is muscle wisdom? And no, it's not muscle memory. Many people confuse muscle wisdom with muscle memory, but they are not the same. Muscle memory is your ability to quickly regain lost strength and skill after taking time off. On the other hand, muscle wisdom is a lifetime of neuromuscular fine-tuning, rate coding, and real-time movement intelligence that happens between your brain, spinal cord, and motor units. Muscle wisdom controls everything you do, from explosive movements to balance, reflexes, and coordination. It cannot be trained in a day, a month, or even a year. It takes decades to develop, from day one to now. Why new motor units would never restore muscle wisdom. Longevity researchers talk about regenerating lost motor units in the future. But even if they figure out how to insert new motor units into the body, it would never restore your movement ability. Here's why. Muscle wisdom is learned, not downloaded. This muscle wisdom is not a hard drive file that gets saved and transferred. It is developed over a lifetime through real world experience, feedback, and micro adjustments. New motor units will start at zero, completely untrained with no experience. Number two, motor units are not plug and play. Every motor unit is wired to your spinal cord, peripheral nerves, and the central nervous system in an extremely specific way that was fine-tuned over decades. If you replace motor units, you lose all of that fine-tuning. Expecting new motor units to work instantly would be like giving a newborn baby an adult brain and expecting it to sprint. Number three, even minor neural damage takes years to recover. For example, stroke victims, spinal cord injury patients, and people with nerve damage must completely relearn movement, even if their brain is intact. If just a few damaged nerves cause massive movement loss, imagine what happens when you replace all of the motor units. Number four, no longevity scientist has an answer for this. Aubrey de Grey, rocket scientist Peter Diamantis, and other escape velocity believers never address this issue. They don't even know what the heck it is. They treat the human body like a machine with replaceable parts, but biological intelligence is not replaceable. Even if you paused aging, you would still age and deteriorate due to the loss of motor units and muscle wisdom. Here's the final blow, the longevity cash 22. If someone tries to argue, well, when we insert new motor units, they'll automatically connect to the brain and function like before. Here's why that is biologically impossible. Muscle wisdom is built through trial and error over decades. It's like learning to play the piano for 60 years, then suddenly having your hands replaced and expecting to play flawlessly. Even if the brain recognizes the new motor units, the new units won't know how to function properly. They have never learned movement before. This is why artificial limbs, even with advanced AI, never move like real limbs. No technology has ever been able to perfectly replicate natural neuromuscular intelligence. This is why motor unit preservation is the only real longevity strategy. If you lose your original motor units, no technology will ever bring them back to their original state. To all longevity experts, answer this question. If motor units control movement and the muscle wisdom is required for movement, how will you restore decades of movement intelligence when replacing motor units? You can't upload it. You can't transfer it. You can't regenerate it instantly. This alone is why longevity escape velocity is a myth. You cannot escape aging if you lose the intelligence that controls your body's movement and function. So the only real answer is to protect motor units from the beginning. This is the key to extreme longevity, not gene therapy, not rapamycin, and not some futuristic miracle drug. Motor units are the real limit to human lifespan. Ignore them and you will never escape aging.
keeping it real, ladies and gentlemen. You never heard of muscle wisdom. I know you didn't. Many PhDs don't, don't know what muscle wisdom is unless they, they study the neuromuscular system. Unless they're PhDs in the neuromuscular system or, or read about it, but most people don't know what the heck muscle wisdom is. It cannot be replaced ever, ever, because it's not stored. It's dynamic. From day one to, to your present day, it helps you move. It controls your movement. Anyway, I have more coming. Have a wonderful day. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon.